So now that Branded Fusion is limited in the TCG and Grass is also back, Branded in the TCG and Master Duel look a lot more similar. And I've seen many different builds win tournaments using Branded also in the World Championship last week, but I think that I'm not sure if I like these builds more than the approach I'm taking for the TCG right now. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to play Branded in Master Duel for the new format, given the fact decks like Lightsworn, Tear, and U Bell are still running wild. And of course, don't forget Fire King Snake Eye, and of course, show you my deck list for the new format. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more Branded content and other Yu-Gi-Oh content. And let's jump into the deck. A quick reminder that my new branded sleeves are coming exclusively to Sleeve Chief on Sunday, September 22nd. These new and exclusive branded theme sleeves feature a brand new look of Blazing Cartesia and Aluber. So September 22nd at 8 p.m. CET or 2 p.m. Eastern only on SleeveChief.de. And hey, we get an extra 5% off using code GALZO5. So here we go. I believe, and I truly believe, that this is the best branded build right now for Master Duel. I've been having so much fun with it. Cooking on stream. By the way, if you want to see me play this live, make sure to follow on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Let's go over the deck list and then see a little bit of gameplay and talk about that and how that works. So, first of all, we got Despian Tragedy, we're playing it at 1, and we are playing 3 Allure of Darkness, and to supplement that, we're playing Tri Brigade Mercurier at 2 copies. So, I'll explain a little bit what I think Branded should be able to achieve in this meta, and the TCG and Master Duel are actually coming a lot closer together, right? The formats are more similar than ever, so the approach is also similar. So. Of course, we are playing three max C. We're playing one Ash for the cross out target. And just because it's so impactful to hit it and a lot of people are playing it, like this is almost in every single deck. And of course the two called by. Now you can see here that the approach is board breakers, right? We have thrust, we have eclipse and we have droplet. We're also playing one talent to supplement the thrust. So basically going first, you want board breakers that could be also used as traps that could be activated going first during your opponent's turn. <clears throat> so this is why I've chosen specifically Eclipse and Droplet, because even if you go first, Eclipse can be a defensive card to flip your Alubers, Cartesias face down so they don't get hit with an Imperm. It also baits out Ash Blossom, and it's just overall such a good card against decks like Ubel and Snake Eye. It's extremely good. It's so good going into the board, trying to break it. And these are the prime choices for this format, in my opinion. So the reason you don't necessarily want to play a lot of hand traps in this build is because this is a 60 card build. You're not going to be able to see a combination of enough hand traps, right? So board breakers, one of them, impacts the board so much more than a single hand trap. So if you rather open one hand trap going second or one board breaker, you will 10 out of 10 times just want to open the droplet because it is so valuable in branded as well. So this is the approach. Of course, thrust is not new, right? Going second, it can get you to talents to break the board, to, to grass, of course, and to branded fusion, right? But going first, it can, of course, set you Fusion Duplication, which if you get Ashed on the Branded Fusion, you activate Thrust, set this, and this is so much better than a Deer Servant because during your opponent's turn, you're going to be able to activate this and activate essentially Branded Fusion from the graveyard, right? If you don't know this, you target the Branded Fusion in the graveyard, you copy its effect to this, so this can't even get Ashed, right? So this is the strategy with the non-engine of this deck before I dive into the actual engine because the engine is relatively straightforward three albas just because it is so much gas and we do have like limitations on a louver and stuff so this is super important to have especially with things like kashira still in the format you can randomly get an albas banished by rise heart right and then you're left with one which is not ideal two a louver one ecclesia which i don't currently play in the tcg but this is an incredible board breaker. You can send this with Quem to get an extra card to the hand during the end phase. 
And of course, this summons Albaz from the deck. So going second, you don't have to give up your normal summon to summon an Albaz. You special summon this, you get a bait into an interruption with Albaz, you already have Thrust and Talents live, and you start playing from there. It's so, so good. And of course, it's searchable by High Spirits, which we also play three of. Tumor Courier, mainly just because of Allure of Darkness, right? Kit, because Branded Fusion is at one. And one, Shayrin, just because it's so impactful with Grass. You can go into Aquarius or Dragostopelia or something like that, or just even a Lubelion, the Searing Dragon, because this is a dark monster. And it's just extremely good. Also, this could bait an Ash because Tier Limits is super popular right now in Master Duel. You can actually activate this from the hand and actually get ashed on it, and which is just incredible, in my opinion. Three Cartesia, just because this is a starter you always want to see. In combination with this, you send an Albus from the deck. This becomes live. Now you can protect your Aluber or Quem, which we also play two of, just because this is a 60 card build. And you want to be able to summon one during your turn. And then possibly if you get hit with Nibiru or any Bestial, you can tag out Granginol to summon another Quem from deck if they out the first one. Because this is a very important piece of, to the end board. One Magnumid, one Serenir. Unfortunate that this is actually at one. This is a branded hit specifically because if you think about it, in the OCG currently, this card is the only Bestial that is a three. So this is the branded hit. Like this and High Spirits is obviously full combo, right? Um, but it's currently at one, but we do play three Albion because again, this is also very, very good with High Spirit. So you can activate Albion, send Retribution to the graveyard from the deck as cost. And then you can chain this, send the Albion. You don't get to draw a card, but you put a dragon in your graveyard from the extra deck as well. So you can put an Albion, the branded dragon. You get this into the graveyard and this can search you for Quem, which on normal summon can dump this. So it's essentially Searcher's Branded Fusion, another way to Branded Fusion. One, Lubelion, just because it's super important for the combo to make sure you put Branded Lost on the board and Albion in the graveyard. And I've already made a video about this. This is Puppet. It's all good. Like this, no deck can play through this. Um, just because decks don't really play board breakers in Master Duel. Like you won't see Econs. You won't see droplets most of the time. The only thing you need to be wary of is Call by the Grave and maybe a Bestial. But you can see from the gameplay on screen that this card is just a winner. This locks your opponent into DTDs while it's on the field, right? So they can tribute summon over it, a level six, for example, but it obviously hinders their combo. So this is a really good thing to do in the later game. You don't want to end on doing this like we did with Puppet, um, but you just stick a fork in, in your opponent's plans. One Burial, one Sar, Consistency, three of this. Um, grass looks greener, three Deployment, one in white. This card is so, so good in the grind game, but also into Grass, right? So Grass fills your graveyard with Albuses, and then you can just Branded Fusion from the graveyard. It's essentially the same thing. So once you want to play around Ash Blossom with a Luber, you can just search for um, in white instead, and it's really as good. Three of this, um, Lost, we talked about the Eclipse, we talked about the Called By and the Droplets, one opening, Sag. Three of this, great card, searches any card in your deck, gets you an extra card in the hand during the end phase. Just incredible, really. Red, um, Branded Sword, has really cool lines where you can actually get to Cartesia with only branded fusion, right? Um, probably I'm gonna show it on screen, but essentially you go for an Albion with Cartesia, then you banish the Cartesia and the um, Fallen of Albaz, right? For Granginiol, Granginiol sends Serenir, which can dump this, and then you Banish this, get your Cartesia into hand, and then you can normal summon the Cartesia, fuse away with it, make a Drago Stabelia, put your Albion in the graveyard for, you know, branded opening in the end phase, get Quem, Quem gets Albaz. Just from one branded fusion. Usually one branded fusion is not that good of a one card combo, but this makes it a lot better. One dupe and one retribution. Extra deck, Stabelia, this card is incredible, just a must, must play. 
two Branded Dragon, one Quiritus, two Mirror Jade, one Searing, one Flex, honestly. Uh, I'm, tr I'm still, because I don't play Master Duel that much, I'm still trying to gauge like what's the actual meta right now. And this could be a Masquerade to put extra pressure, makes your Sheeran much better in the graveyard. So consider that. Two Grand Guignol, I think if you can afford the, the dust for the extra UR, this is really important because again, once they out it, and you don't want to end on this lock on the board. You want to end on your normal board, and then during your opponent's turn, make another Gangnyol, send this, etc. Right? This is why you need two Rinworm Sanctifier and Guardian Chimera. So yeah, I think I think it's an excellent pick to play right now. It's also very, very good into Max C. So you can see here, I think this is Fire King Snake Eye. Just Albion Sanctifier. We got a negate in hand and retribution on the field basically checks the entire deck here right um we do manage to negate the bell star here ponyx and eventually eventually we're gonna have to make a play with albaz we get hit with a call to buy here which is still fine we negate this right so we have follow-up with branded fusion and they're only left on the bell star and next turn we can cook of course so yeah, I think the deck is super resilient, very good into Max C, very powerful into like a one card combo with Branded Fusion. And I think with Grass, it's also cool to see that the decks are a lot more alike right now in the TCG and the OCG. And I'm really, really enjoying that and it's super, super fun. Um, we go into Albion here, gets hit with the Imper. It's a bit of a grindier game now. We have Albion in the end phase, plays Branded Lost. We don't want to kill the, the, the Bell Star just because they will get value out of it during their turn and we have branded in red ash mercurier here they already used one call by the grave so it's a little bit better skyburn we ash the field spell they chain skyburn and we get the albas here because we want to get branded lost activation so this will pop this will pop garunix lubelion we don't need to negate the garunix right now we will negate the kirin though right because we do make a mirror jade again, they don't really have so much in play right now, so we can just cook, right? And this was all into a maxi with only brand fusion into like their best two starters, honestly. Um, we, this placing the mirror jade in the spell and trap zone is really good because we can only control one and we control it while it's in the spell and trap zone, right? So you can't summon another one. Branded sword, grab the albaz. So we have something to summon. And now we do this again. Go for a Lubelion. Or just a Titanic Clan, of course. And uh, we get the Cartesia back to hand. Just like an incredible end phase for this deck. So, so much. Draw into the third Albaz. This goes back to hand. And now, basically, we just go for the kill. Cartesia, Aluber, Grit. Branded White. This is why it's so good. It's just Branded Fusion 2.0. Lubelion here. I go for the Lubelion because I want to shuffle the Albaz into my deck. Because I do shuffle just both of them. And we just go from game uh, for game right here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments below and your thoughts. You're probably more versed in Master Rule than I am. So this is just my suggestion. Again, thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.